This, this year for me was actually like a year where I, I really felt I, I discovered a lot of great music. Like I copied Otto by creating a best of 2015 playlist on Spotify as a way to discover new music. Follow Alex Wilson on Spotify. It's going to appear on the bottom of your screen now. <laughs> right there. Call now. But I mean like, I and, and as a result, I just checked out a bunch of music and I, I love the new Royal Headache. Um, Drive by Ainsley Wills is probably like my favorite Australian song of this year. Um, the new Joanna Newsom is fucking amazing. Jamie XX is, uh, you know, really, really incredible. Those are a few of mine, I guess. And um, it was released at the start of the year, but I keep going back to uh, Sufjan Stevens' Carrie and Lowell as my record of the year. I love the new Foles album as well. Oh it's driving, it's so much vibe. And then for an Australian band, Courtney Barnett uh, kicked it out of the park and was the soundtrack to my international touring making me feel real nostalgic and real cared for even though I was so far away. You showed me Royal Headache the other day. Uh, yeah, Royal Headache. And I've only listened Sydney once band. through, but holy shit, I reckon that could be a favourite pretty soon. Yeah. I showed Jackson in the car on the way from um, Berlin to Frankfurt where we had to drive and then fly. Uh, it was like overnight and we had to kind of keep ourselves awake so we listened to Royal Headache. Really sweet Sydney punk band. They're playing at Meredith which is like a it's Victorian festival. Oh, Golden Plains, yeah, that's the one. Uh, it's gonna be sick. That was... That's a great record. Um, I really liked, um, what's that Kiwi band? Unknown More Looks from. Yeah, yeah. But there's like three tracks that I love and the rest I skip through, so I don't know if I can claim that as favorite album. The Tame Impala album was nuts, and I think that everybody agrees that it's just a fantastic album. Um, yeah, so that, that was huge for me. Um, yeah, what about you? Um, I, one, of, one of my favourite discoveries of the year has been um, Tired Lion, who are playing today. Yeah, they're just there. So I'll be like really stoked to see them. Um, but I'm actually going to throw a curveball and say that one of my favourite records of the year was actually the new Carly Rae Jepsen album. It was <laughs> like, like, I'm dead serious. Like super underrated and people were even like surprised that it didn't get nominated for a Grammy. It was really good. It was really good. Um, Fair enough. Yeah. Right but on. yeah, let's just go with Tide Line. <laughs> <laughs> you can have a little bit of call anyway, a little bit of yeah. call me. But seriously, <laughs> CRJ. <laughs> I mean, Tame's record was definitely a huge one, but Currents was really good. King Gizzard's albums King were Gizzards, good. King Gizzard's, yeah. I haven't actually listened to the most recent one, but yeah. King Gizzard, Tame, who else? There was so much good shit. The new Neon Indian album was awesome. Oh yeah, that was really cool. One of my favourite songs from this year that's a real standout actually is Tom and Shud by The Drones. That when, that, when I first heard it, I was literally blown away because I hadn't heard anything like that in a long time. And it's such an interesting song musically and lyrically and for us I, I remember when I first heard it I got in, in touch with got in contact with Alex and he hadn't heard it yet and said listen to it and he was like this this pretty much um, sums up how I feel about Australia and I was like fucking oh yeah so yeah that's one standout for me yeah I think it's been a really great year for Australian music I would name uh, the Dick Diver record Blank Realm Royal Headache Robert Forster's album and Gold Class, just from the top of my head. I mean, they're all like That's such so good albums. Lit. Oh, the and re I'm, I release of the Dagos album. That Dagos reissue. reissue. Yeah, and there's probably um, a few that I've forgotten, but I mean, just those alone, like such such quality stuff. It's an exciting time to be around. We know about music. <laughs> We've got our finger on the pulse. We get our finger on the pulse. <laughs> My tip for 2016 is a um, artist that I reckon is going to be big, Courtney Barnett. <laughs> Don't know if you've heard of her. No, you heard of her? Not familiar, no. Yeah. yeah. She sounds. She sounds. That's a good name. It's a solid name. Yeah. I mean, I like, that, I like Courtney Barnett. She's just a fucking. Good yeah. Old she seems like a legend. We've never met her, but. Um, I have a favorite. Probably my favorite song at the moment is a G Easy song. I can't remember how it goes. Like <laughs> it's like. Oh, you got me. That's what it's called. It's like so. It's G Easy. You got me. I really like that track at the moment. Probably my favorite album would be it was an album or well, mixtape released last year by Spark Master Tape. I listened to heaps of him, but like he's just an unknown rapper. Like no one knows where he comes from and shit. But like I've got him tattooed on my 
ankle and oh, shit. Wow. Yeah. So <laughs> really you know him. Yeah. You, know, you know all about <laughs> but, him. But um, yeah, no, he's fucking. He's just in, he's incredible. I reckon even I when I watched I Know More Orchestra the other night, that yeah. was amazing. Even like multi love that record. Just kind of like so good. Um, so good. D'Angelo, Black Messiah. That yeah. was a great record. Yeah, that's another good record. Um, I'm trying to think of what is the Bad Dreams record. Bad Dreams record, another yeah. solid record. Um, who else we got? I'm trying to think of who I bought on vinyl. Can't remember. Oh, Tame Impala record's great, but everyone's yeah. going to say Tame Impala record's great. Yeah. Um, what else we got, Simon? I don't know. Top of my head. Oh, I really like the Apollo Brown uh, Blasphemy record. That was a good little number. Don't know the uh, names of the songs of them, but in its entirety, it's a good solid just sort of hip hop record. Um, I really liked the Sufjan Stevens album, Carry in the Well, and I really liked the Car Seat Headrest album. They were my two favourites of the year. I reckon my favourite album of the year was um, Young Fathers, White, White Men and Black Men 2. My favourite song though, it's got to be King Kunta. That song, I'd never get sick of it. Kendrick Lamar, King Kunta. Yeah. Or something. I can't think of a favourite song or album right now, but I've got a new favourite band, Tide Line, who played a, bit, a little bit earlier. They've, uh, they've been doing the last few kind of, you know, shows with us around the country. And, you know, even watching them evolve from like when we started playing with them at the start of the year to now. Yeah. Definitely new favourite band, I think, for all of us. Yeah, so much Rep fun. Repping there. Absolute legends. I don't know why I put the mic to the <laughs> t-shirt. Ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah, you can hear the music, right you, can hear right the, you can hear the line. Right on the nipple. Man. Yeah, yeah, hear the roar. <laughs> Alabama Shakes. Oh, really? Is that okay? Yeah, that's it? fine, that's good. Have. It's a great record. It's just uh, fucking, like, genuine, you know? I was, I was probably frothing on Courtney Barnett at the start of the year. Oh, my God. Him and Courtney Barnett. That's a lot of good stuff, a lot of good stuff. But Kendrick Lamar's album was pretty sweet. Although, no, you chose Courtney Barnett, we're done yeah, with that. All right. You know what? I'm going to, because I can't remember much right now, but... James and the car ride up to, up to Port Macquarie last night. Show uh, played Oakville River. Oakville River. What is it Oakville River? Oakville River. Yeah. There. That I'm going with that. I got a. Uh, that's I'm a new fan. So there. Done. Done and dusted. Yeah, and I was stunned. Yeah. Yeah.